All right, let's start the video by saying, Call of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, the real And shalom on to you, brothers, out there preaching and teaching truth worldwide. And I want to say shalom on to the hopeful let. And your brother, Kaya, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua. Well, what in this lesson will be edifying till next time? <laughs> Sly. <laughs> Jay like opening shit. <laughs> hey, slack on that. <laughs> but like, as I was going to it, I want to basically say shalom to the whole for lit. And um, <laughs> double honors to the apostles and elders of great bells on that that rule well. So hey, so Lord, with me, brothers and um, sisters that that watch these videos, watch this video will be edified. As I'm going into the day, it's going to be dealing with uh, family of the word. <clears throat> so right here, it says Republicans voting for a bill that can make Bible illegal. Outrageous MAGA. <clears throat> you can simply, uh, this, this is an article published on Newsweek. And it goes into, it actually came out a couple of days ago. Yeah, this is published, published May 2nd, um, 2024, updated um, a few days later, May 5th. But this gets into um, MAGA conservatives voice outrage at Congressional Republican, Republicans voting for the, you see what it is, Awareness Act over concerns it will make the Bible illegal. So if you want to, you know, you can read into this. Because if you jump down a um, little bit further down in the article, it says some conservatives are taking issue with the bill over the IHRA definition of, you see what it is, including claims of Jews killing Jesus for, or blood libel, uh, arguing that it could mean that parts of the Bible would now become illegal. So what does that sound like? Bam. We made the Bible illegal. That will ultimately bring upon the famine of the word. And <clears throat> uh, look at Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Behold the days come, said the Lord power, that I was in a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. So if there's a famine of the word, and you can't hear the words of the Lord, how, how are you gonna how are you gonna escape those evil times if if the Bible is eliminated, if it's outlawed, maybe certain topics <laughs> they would say you can't speak on because it's it's um hurtful. <laughs> But I thought you're supposed to declare the whole word of the Lord. That just shows these goddamn devils. They don't care. They don't care about the uh what's in the what's in the scriptures. They only care about their feelings. And actually, honestly, they don't really as um other Yasha woman likes to speak on. They don't they don't really want to have anything to do with the scriptures. <laughs> they just use it as a as a ploy to to basically <clears throat> control the world. They use it, you know, use Plantation Christianity, they got you loving. Here it is, they got Jake loving every goddamn thing. But they don't show any love. What where you would have thought they got their lead back from 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 um from Ishmael. They blowing everything up. Like surely it should come with, you know what? Now we gotta show these guys some love. There is there is no love. You can ask all all those people over there in Iraq, um, Afghanistan. Here it is. They, they, that war was from 2001, 9-11. So that war was going on from 2011, 20 years later. What, what 2021? Surely here, but they got Ben Laden. I think a few years ago, a few days ago was the... I think it was the, hold on, 2014, yeah, it was the 10-year anniversary, 
because I, I was out there when, when they when um they dumped Bin Laden body in the ocean. Yeah, because that was that was my um. Nah, that would have been twenty. Hold it. Let me get it. Hold on a second. <clears throat> ben. Yeah, May 2nd. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> 2011. So, so what was this? So, so, yeah, a few days ago, it was the, the anniversary of it, which that will put it at so 2011. Or is it 2024? Uh, 13, 13 years ago. <clears throat> this devil, <clears throat> because he's a devil too, he's been dead over 13 years. Um, but the war, here it is, the war went on another 10 years. After they done, they done killed this guy. So where was the love um, of plantation Christianity? Here it is. You got the guy you was looking for. But what? The war still raged on. So they got our people loving every goddamn thing that they see. But the same one who's telling them, love your neighbor, they don't show any love. But they, they're trying to hang that plantation Christianity care over your head, Jake. Whenever you get out of line. They hit you with, what would Jesus do? <laughs> but they would, they won't, they won't say that to themselves, because what? They believe in, they believe in the ultimate get back. But guess what? How about you, my child? He's gonna do what? Fight our battles for us. We don't have to go on a man-made um, witch hunt to try to figure out who did what. Nah, we already know who did it. You did it. All, all roads link lead back to your pale ass. You are the culprit. <laughs> so, right here, Amos eight verse eleven. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north even to the east, and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. In the end that day shall the fair virgins and young and young men faint for thirst. So yes, yeah, so it's coming upon a time where here it is, our people are gonna be wanting from sea to sea. But uh, which you can put that in here it is that. It's not saying that, Jake, you're going to be going from, well, you can literally go from the East Coast to the West Coast. But what will you be doing? You'll be going around your town. you seen those men on the on the street corners prophesying it down for all of America, Babylon, the great, with the Bibles, bringing out, you know, the curses of Deuteronomy, uh, going to the scriptures, breaking down 2nd Ezra 15, 16. But guess what? What is it saying? And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it. What does that mean? Basically, we're going to be out the, uh, we're going to be banned from the street corner. We're not going to be able to go out. The Lord is going to pull us out the streets. Because what? This devil's going to make it where here it is. It's, an, um, it's a punishable offense in his eyes. To teach the truth. He's going to say, oh, this is this is hate speech. This is speaking against this. This is speaking against that. So he has the pretense to, to say that, hey, you guys are hurting this, this demographics, this group of people. So guess what? You, you can't you can't justify what you're saying by the scriptures. Why? Because it hurt these people's feelings. But ultimately. <clears throat> The Lord, hey, he, this devil was just what? Fulfilling prophecy. Because what, what, what were we supposed to do? Uh, what was that in book of um, Isaiah? Is it 30? No. Hold on.
don't think it's uh, that far down, Isaiah. Oh, lift you up the banner upon the highest mountain. <clears throat> Oh, shoot, maybe it's in Jeremiah. Hold up. Dang, I, I know. Just put banner. Bam, Isaiah 13. I probably had went by just and see it. Isaiah 13, verse 2. <clears throat> see, this is what we're supposed to do. Scripture said, actually, I'm starting verse 1. Isaiah 13, verse 1. The burden of Babylon, which... Isaiah the son of Amos did see lift you up a banner upon the high mountain. We suppose what's the banner of the scriptures? We you supposed to be taken away. So wh whatever's in the scripture, we we supposed to do what? Bring it out. So the scripture said, lift you up the banner upon the high mountain. This is the highest government. Because when you see in the scriptures, mountains, uh, a lot of times it, it could be referencing a mountain, you know where Esau came from. But then the other times it's talking about the government. So it says, lift you up upon lift you up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. So ultimately, that's what they're supposed to do. Go into the go into the gates of the nobles to do what? Get us off the get us out the street corners. Tear your uh, gates of the nobles. That's your elites. That's your politicians. That's your city councilmen. That's your um Democratic or Republican representative. So you're supposed to go into your gates of the nobles to do what? To basically get us off the street corner. So what are you doing ultimately? You're fulfilling prophecy. When you vote on these different uh, um, legislations, our job was to preach the word of Yahweh Shemasha, to lift up the banner, lift up the scriptures. Your job as being a goddamn devil, was to do what? Listen to your constituents, the people that voted for you, to do what? They say, hey, man, these guys are, are, are preaching hate. They need to get out the corner. And then you as a politician, because you want to get reelected, you, you drop a bill, a legislation, and then you push it through the House, push it through the Senate, then it ultimately goes to the President of the United States to get it signed. So that what we could then be taken off the street corner, so that another prophecy of Yahweh Shemashah will be fulfilled, because all the prophecies of the Lord are going to be fulfilled. You, man, they they have to be fulfilled. I mean, Second Ezra was that fifteen? Was it verse three? No, two. Second Ezra 15, verse 2. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 1. Second Ezra 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. So our job, once we lift up the banner, the scriptures, upon the highest mountain, the Lord said, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. So these are ultimately the words of the Lord. These aren't our words. We didn't, we didn't come up, we didn't come up with the RFID chip is the mark of the beast. We didn't come up with America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction in, in our basement one day. We didn't, we didn't, you know what? That sounds that sound pretty cool. We didn't come up with, you know what, the beast, NATO, and the EU is going to hate the whore because we had a, a special vendetta against this place. No. Nah. These are the words of the Lord and cause them to be written in paper, paper for what? For they are faithful and true. So these prophecies, they all faithful and true. They're going to they, they, they're gonna come to pass. So it doesn't matter if someone doesn't believe. As a matter of fact, it doesn't matter if you don't believe. It, it tells you in the book of Romans. <laughs> <clears throat> so Romans 3 verse 3 
for what is some did not believe. So if you don't believe that the prophecies are gonna kind of are going to come to pass, you don't believe that it's prophetic that we were the prophets were supposed to be taken out the street. If you don't believe that it's prophetic that we're supposed to lift the banner, which is the scriptures, upon the highest mountains, so that what you can go and tell your your politicians to, which are the nobles supposed. To, and then they were supposed to do what? Get us off the street. So everything has already been outlined by the Lord. Everyone's, doesn't matter if you're on the left hand side or the right hand side, everyone is walking, dancing to the tune of prophecy, whether, whether you believe it or not. Everyone is. Doesn't matter what's going on in the world. It's all prophetic. Everything, everything is to do with to fulfill the will of your how about you mouth shine. So, for one, if some did not believe, shall their unbelief, so shall because you don't believe, that's talking about the there, shall their unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect? God forbid. Yea, let the most high be true. But every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So it doesn't matter if you don't believe in the prophets of the Lord. It does not. It doesn't mean that they're there. It, it does not mean that uh, um, because you don't believe it's not going to come to pass. So let me get this right. Your belief in something. Means it's going to come to pass. And your unbelief in it. Means it's not going to come to pass. And that is incorrect. Because all the words of the Lord. Are faithful and true. Hey so Lord willing this lesson is edifying. Uh, Till next time. Shalom. And a blah blah blah.